<laughs> All right, y'all. So normally, I will wait for my husband, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm super duper excited to open up this this kids on bumper car thing. So yeah. So it comes with a remote. Why the remote red? It should have been black. And then this is the charger. Here it goes. Here it goes. So I got her the pink one. I got her the pink one. The pink one did cost more money, like the normal colors. We're like 189 and then the pink one, I can't remember the exact price, I'll tag it right here. But it was a little bit more money for this color, but look at it, it's super cute. You know what's funny, y'all? I purchased this off of Amazon, and it asked if I wanted to pay an extra $115 for assembly, and I don't know why that was or why that price was there, so I was like, of course I did not want to pay no extra $100 for assembly. So I opted out for that, but I was afraid that this was gonna come in a bunch of pieces, but it didn't. So if y'all buy this, do not give them people an extra $115 for assembly. I don't know what that fee is for, but don't do it. So here it is. Um, of course, it comes dead. It ain't charged. It would have been nice if they, you know, if it came charged a little bit. This product is packed with battery, with the battery disconnect. They connect the battery before use. Okay, y'all, I gotta go get a screwdriver. It has a little seat belt, which is nice. You know, keep your baby nice and safe. I like that so far. Oh, okay, I guess the red remote, cause there's red right here. I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, I'm not too mad at that. And then maybe that's the brand colors. And then it has the kids on on the back and that's black and red. Okay, I understand the red remote. I'm kind of anal about little details like that with colors and stuff. I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of OCD about stuff like that. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery connected and I'm also gonna put batteries inside this remote so i'll be right back y'all let me show y'all this thing look like i'm connecting c4 look how this thing look on the inside i'm trying to figure out where do i connect the battery okay so pretty much i think i just gotta put this part right up in here child why they got this thing looking like a little bomb okay so we're connected I hope so. Right now I have it plugged up and I have it charging. I just read the instruction. It has to charge for eight to 12 hours, which kind of sucks because I wanted to take her out this evening to ride it. Eight to 12 hours, that's a long time. It's 6 p.m. right now, so she won't be riding it until tomorrow. So I wonder how long it can hold a charge if it take that long to charge it. So I will, I guess I'll get back with y'all tomorrow to show y'all how it runs and how she likes it. Okay guys, I have to show you something really quick. I connected this wrong, okay? So this, everything comes already connected. And me, I stuck this inside of that and so called myself charging it for eight hours. That is not correct. This is the only thing that comes not connected. This goes inside of here, okay? So don't make the mistake that I made. Plug this part inside of here, which they should have did a better job with those instructions. So now I have to charge it again for about eight hours. Another way to know if it's charging, when you plug the charger in a wall, right? When you plug it in a wall, it's green. And then when you plug it to the bumper car, which is right here, it should turn orange, which I didn't know that, but now you know. Okay, y'all, here's the bumper car, all charged up and ready to go. It looks so cute. 
I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The very first time I put her in this bumper car, she freaked out. She hated it. She was crying. It took us about a week for her to actually get used to the car. Right here is day five of us putting her in the car every day so that she could get used to it. Once she got comfortable with the car and I was comfortable with the remote control, I started taking her outside. I would highly recommend that you first practice inside the house driving the car and then take your baby outside with it. This car comes in two driving modes. One, you can control it with the remote and the other driving mode is your baby can control it themselves. As far as speed, this car is six volts meaning it only goes about one to two miles per hour, which is perfect for a baby. The average age recommendation for this car is one and a half to six years old. I have seen smaller babies in this car, but me personally, I probably wouldn't recommend anything under one years old because I don't think they would really understand what's going on. But I hope that this video was helpful for you. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you found this video helpful, also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss another video from me. Ciao. <laughs> Push it. Push it. Push it. Push the other one. Push the other one. Push it. Push this one. Push this one. Push that one. Push the other one. Push the other one. Look, mama. Push this one. Push this one. Yay! Yes. Push it. Push it. <laughs>